do it. Even beginners and masters. Now let's start showing what I got. So over here I have some paint brushes which I'm going to use for my painting. Thin paint brushes, not thick. Thin. You need thin ones. Or you can have thick if you want. I have the paper. It's going to be A4 sheet and the paper is going to be canvas like. I have these painting knives. This is why I'm not going to have some thick paint brushes because I'm going to be using these. I have a paint palette so then I can mix up all my paints and keep them here. Over here I have some neon acrylic paints. I need some neon colours probably. And over here I have the other colours of acrylic paint. So now guys, that I showed you everything I'm going to be needing, let's start painting. Okay, so guys, now let's open this paper. Well, not paper, basically we need to take off the wrapping. Here. Now let's get one paintbrush. We won't be needing all of them, just one. So I'm going to be using about, maybe the stickers. This one. Let's just open it a little bit more. Oh, there's some tape. Here, we'll be needing this one. We won't be needing the rest. Now, here's the paint. Let's open this. Let's get a little bit of that. 
And the last but not least, this. How do I open this? Do I twist it? Yeah. Okay. And just a little bit of that. So now let's start painting, guys. So, guess what I'm painting? Now, this is our paintbrush, and now let's take off the top and start painting. We're going to be using these tools over here. So, when we're using these colors, but first I need to put them on the paper. So, let's start. I'm going to do a shade of dark at the bottom, just like this. And I'm going to do a dark to light. And then just do some of this. You want to paint it from the tip if you're going to use a thin paintbrush just like me. So then the paintbrush doesn't get ruined. Oh yes, guys, I forgot to tell you that you need to put some water. I put it right here. So then when you change the colours, your paintbrush doesn't get messy. So now let's begin again. <laughs> I want mine to look really good. So this is why I want to cover all the white bits. So first I'm just going to start painting. And then at the end, I'm going to cover all this white bit, which you can see. Now I'm just going to paint. Yeah, this is good. Now we can change it. And we can get this colour. It's kind of the same if you see, but actually it's a little lighter. It's more like a watercolour. Does that give you a hint of what I'm making? This feels pretty calm, guys. You should do this at home. I like using acrylic paint because I feel like it's one of the best paints to use on a canvas or when you're painting. We're just going to need a little bit more. Okay, so guys, I'm going to use this paint, but before I'm going to use that paint, I'm first just going to mix a little of this. Now I need to clean my brush. I'm going to use a little of that and some of this. And if it's a nice looking colour, we could use that. Now let's try it. Oh, it's kind of like the same as this and this, but actually a little bit turquoisey and different. I really like this colour. I'm just going to use a little bit of it. And then later on we can put some white paint on top. Okay, so guys, now let's carry on. This time we're going to use this turquoise light blue C type of paint. Because I can't wait anymore and I need to tell you that I'm making a sea with a boat and there's going to be a sunrise. Is that what you guessed guys? Comment down below if it is. So we just have to do this smoothly because then we're going to use the painting knives to make it look like there's waves. Do you guys? We're going to blend this in and look like it's changing, but not now. We'll do that later. Because right now we just need to paint. Okay. Just a little more. Okay, here. We've done the C, but we're not exactly finished because we're going to go back to it, but later. So now let's change this. When this is a little bit more dry, we'll put in some of this white paint on top so it looks like there is some waves right here. So now we're going to use these colours to make a sunrise. We're going to be using some of this orange and this. We'll be using these two colours and this neon orange. So let's put the colours in, guys. I'll put my paintbrush here. 
get this. Let's open this. Um, here. Now let's put some of this here. Just a little bit. We don't want to use too much of the paint. We'll put a little bit of this. Just a teeny bit. Like this. Because we're not going to use a lot of that. Because it's really bright. It's neon after all. And then we're just going to use some yellow for the sun. This gold type of yellow. Now let's just get a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to need some black so that I can do an outline of the sun. So let's do that. Now let's open this and put this in just a little bit. So let's start. Let's wash this and get some black. Now let's do an outline. Uh oh guys, some of the paint sprayed, but it's okay, we can fix it. And by the way, this gives me an idea. When we do the background, we should put some birds. So now we have our black paint, which we are going to put in here. You don't want to do it as thick as I am. You just want to do a thin one like this. But because I'm using a thick paintbrush top, it would be like this. I forgot to change it. So I'm just going to do it all like this. There. So guys, I'm going to do the sunrise, the background of it, all lines, just like this. But then this will get mixed up with that. So before we do the background of the sunrise, we first should change this. So we won't be needing our trusty paintbrush. We'll be needing... We'll be needing these. So now let's use this. First we'll need to get some of the paint again out. This. We'll be putting it on top of here. Just a little bit. Just like that. And then a little bit on this side. So guys, before this dries, let's move it out. Just like this. I didn't try this smoothing out before, so let's try it. If you see, it's getting stuck, but it actually looks pretty cool, and it'll be easier to blend the two colors. Just like this. Then when it dries, it'll get a little lighter. So now, let's get some of this thing because there's some extra. So for this, we'll be needing this. And for this one, we'll be needing this. So let's just get some of this. Right here. But it looks like we might need a little bit more. So let's get some more. Or we could just use this still. If I can get more out. If we can. Okay, so now let's smooth it out again. Let's just tidy this up because it has some other paint color and we don't want that to happen. We just need a little bit of that paint color on so then we can blend the colors from the top. But we'll be needing it for this, so for this one. Okay, now let's get back. this now let's do the last layer which is going to be the darkest color because it's going to be at the bottom now let's just keep this here and get this you need to put all of it good and use all of the paint so it doesn't come to waste because wasting paint is actually bad so here is a lot of the dark we we'll put some dark over here so now let's mix If you see, this is actually really dark and actually it's getting to its form. Now I'm going to use some of the paint from the paintbrush to do lines and then it could be easier. So now let's get some more paint and do this. 
We just need to cover up the white because we're going to be putting white paint on top later when we're done this. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so guys, I just noticed that the paper underneath this got all messed up and now it's ruined. So this is why I'm going to put some paper underneath so it doesn't get ruined again. So then next time we can paint nicely. So now we'll be needing just a teeny bit of white in between the colors. A tiny bit right here and over here and some here and right here. So we'll be smoothing out this white paint. Let's just put this white back and use this other tool of mine. We'll be needing to use it over here. Just like this. And now we're done the sea for now and then we can do this. Okay, so guys, then we finish the sea. Let's do the sun and then we can do the background. Let's get some orange. We need this orange for the sun. And let's start painting. You need to make sure you don't paint in the sea. And be careful with that. So use a thin brush for this. Now we want the sun to be nice and orangey. Just like this. Okay, now that we've done the sun, let's do the sunrise. I think we should do it dark to light, or is the sunrise light to dark? Um, I think it's dark to light, yeah, it's that. So now, let's do that. We'll be basically using the same paint. But then we'll be putting some water on top. We'll put some water on top so it doesn't look dark like this. Let's get some more. This looks nice, doesn't it, guys? So here we did some of it. Now we need to do more. <laughs> I think it'd be easy with a thin brush, so I'm going to use that as soon as I finish this. Okay, yes, now I'm just going to fill in the white gaps, because the sun doesn't have white gaps. So guys, I got a different brush. It's a little thinner, so now I'm going to use this, so then this can be easier. Let's get some water. And then... because we need some more but not too much okay so guys we're done with the neon and then we're just going to use some purple i mean some yellow and then maybe some purple i guess it fits in the sunrise just need to make this a little darker by using all of this paint
Let's get some more black. And there's some more. So now this is going to be the end of our video. If you like this, subscribe to our channel and like to this video. Next time we'll do a next time we'll do another great thing. Bye guys.